Welcome back on WKTV. Jason Shia joined by the head coach of the Utica Comets, Mr. Kevin Deneen. It's brought to you by Turning Stone Resort Casino. Coach, we're a few games into the year. It's sometimes hard to tell what you really have until you're about 10 games in, but do you have any assessment of what you've seen thus far? So this is brought to us by Turning Stone. All right, I went down. We gave them a day off earlier last week, went down and played their fabulous golf courses. Go. So I got to get that plug right in off the bat. Uh, first 10, well, we're only four games in, uh, three and a half, I guess, if you count the one game that uh, uh, we didn't get to the third period. But, uh, you know, this, we, we had some pieces to our team last year. I think we were really an offensively dynamic team. I, if you look, I think we have eight guys right now that started our season here in Utica last year that are playing for uh, in the NHL and that's really exciting so uh, I think there's a real emphasis for us early to be responsible on the def defensive side of things and to try to produce by committee a little bit that we need production from all our group we need responsibility from all our group and uh, I think uh, our fan base that saw us at home here versus Cleveland last week uh, that's the kind of game they saw. When you have a team last year that was built on two young goaltenders, perhaps there wasn't, they weren't projected to be one and two in Utica, but they did such a phenomenal job. But now one year under their belt, and both of them have come in and look very, very poised in the crease yeah. for your team. Yeah, they have. Uh, we just feel really comfortable with our goaltending. Uh, both guys had very unique years. I mean, it's you know, it's a really odd situation for a young rookie. Uh, whether it's out of junior hockey, whether it's out of uh, uh, USHL, uh, college, what have you, coming in and, and playing NHL games. And both Akira and Nico had that opportunity last year. But we're very comfortable, and I think goaltending has certainly been in a, a strength of ours er here early, you know, giving up two goals a game. We had one empty net in Hershey, but uh, certainly at net we're uh, excited about the future of the New Jersey Devils. When you had a young rookie come in last year in Alex Holtz, lots of expectations, a high draft pick. This year you come in with Shimon Nemitz, second overall this past summer. What have you seen from him, and what do you think his ceiling is? Shimo? Yes. I just I call him Simon. <laughs> I think I'm taking the French version there. So, uh, you know, just a really enthusiastic kid. He's working his tail off. He's... Uh, it's a little cliche, but he really is the first guy at the rink and the last to leave. I think he's just so passionate about the game. I think there are some areas, uh, wrinkles that we're continuing to work on, uh, uh, but they're not anything but just a level of enthusiasm that uh, you have to be very careful of tempering that. That's what you love in young players, and what makes this job so enjoyable is being around these young guys, but there's also a level of responsibility and uh, the risk kind of the uh, you know the, the the reward versus uh, uh, risk versus reward factor and I, I think he's uh, on the right path and uh, it's very early in the season but uh, a heck of a prospect and a great kid for the New Jersey Devils. Thanks for doing this and good luck tonight. Thank you.